Mongolia and Australia get ready to go toe to toe. The Mongolian warriors who will battle you. They love to feed it inside to Dabasambu. They're playing a high level of 3x3. They are gold medal winners from 2018, 2017, excuse me. Ironically, the last time Australia lost a game was to, guess who? That's right, Mongolia in the semifinals, 2017. So out come the Mongolians, gold medal game and a ticket to the Olympic qualifying tournament at stake. The final 10 minute sprint of a heart stopping tournament, five days of action culminating right here, right now. I'm happy to be here, y'all. Kyle Montgomery, AKA 3X3 The Voice. I'm not the most important name. Those names go as follows. Anand Aryanbo, Dergonam Dabasambu, Dolgon Ikbat, Ikbatar Anol Batar. And, of course, the Australian squad. Going for gold medal number four in a row. This is the sixth edition. This Australian men's team. They got more gold than a rap tour. Andrew Steele, the last one on the court. He's joined by Daniel Johnson, Lucas Walker, and Todd Blanchfield. The guys in green against the guys in white. This is gonna be fun, buckle up. There's the coin flip. Chirong Chi and Edmund Ho will get the honor of officiating this final game. Gold medal on the line. I want to thank our ball sponsor, Wilson, our apparel sponsor, Peak, our local sponsor, Sports Singapore, 100 Plus, Ice Mountain, Singapore Sports Hub, EVA Air, our official suppliers as well, in Leo, Skelda Bodet. Much appreciation. The Mongolians have appreciated the effort they've seen from Anand Aryanbo. 24 big ones for the 25 year old as he continues to rise as a Mongolian star. Todd Blanchfield, I'm not sure if he's a soap opera star on the Young and Restless in Australia, but he's becoming a star in this tournament. They are happy to have him. As he's been playing really well with this new quartet of Australians. They bring back uh, three players from last year's squad, Steele and Johnson and Walker. But I tell you what, if the Australians win this one, and a four straight gold when it comes to the Asia Cup, uh-uh, you can't tell them nothing. We'll find out who lets their game do the talking. Andrew Steele, they want to feed it down low. Look at the tower, Johnson. Dogan Inkbot sizing up Johnson, decides to give it up. The bull crashing into Steele. And he can't hit a short shot. Blanchfield with Aryanbo defending. Blanchfield spins into trouble. Steele will pull the trigger. Bang, bang. He's got the smoking gun. Wetter than a skipper as he has the Aussies out. Three, nothing. Oh, Aryanbo set him up with the crossover. Doesn't hit the two, but he does get his own rebound. Soft touch. Mongolia on the board. Steel, no hesitation. Quick draw. It's a misfire. And out of bounds, it'll go. Substitutions made as Aryanbo will check out. Steel will take over the top of the key. One second shy of a full shot clock. So Lucas Walker will get fouled. Mm -hmm. 
Lucas again is the co-owner co of the Il Arawa Heat, which is the CBL, CLB club. He's not a businessman. He's a business man. Davasambu checks out. So the bull will get a rest. Dude going Igbot. Oh, all kinds of contact right there. That's like walking through the streets of Amsterdam. <laughs> okay, that was a reach. 3-1. <laughs> we still having fun in the gold medal game. <laughs> oh, dog gun. He short arms it. They survived the battle in the semifinals. And they fight on here in the gold medal game. We sit them packing. Oh, nice look. How did he see him through the trees? All that green finds the open man for the score. Andrew Steele, the only member of this Australian team that remembers that loss in 2017, the last L that the Aussies have suffered. They've won 24 straight at the Asia Cup since then. As that one drops through the bucket, 4-3, Australia. Nice feed, down low, caught and scored. Inkbatar Anobatar. Seen some good defense from him and some good offense. Blanchfield, the stroke was broke. Anand Ariambo. He tries to find the cutter, but that's broken up. Here's Walker. No. No gun. Sizing up Blanchfield. He's got a man with Lele. Count that bucket. Plus the foul. So not a high IQ play for Blanchfield. He kind of got caught up in the net. Kind of a wacky play, actually. But when he heard that whistle, he was like, crikey. That's not what I wanted. Walker. Right. So, Novatar is grabbing on Johnson. Yeah, I know. Oh, Walker. Oh, yeah. Put him on suspension. Evens the game at five apiece. Arian Bowl. Not at all. Little uh, gun is arguing that he threw that off of uh, Walker. He's not going to win that one. Blanchfield defended by one of the best on ball defenders in Dolgun Ikbat. But now they get it to Johnson. No salt, doesn't have the touch on that one. And oh, Ikbat's are way off. But he sticks with it. Can't stick the layup. No. Put some reverse spin on that. Score will stay where it's at. All right, but Australia having some communication issues. As we head into our first TV timeout, it's all knotted up. Who wants gold? We'll find out in the next less than seven minutes, 6.51 exactly. Hey, if you haven't followed us yet on social media, please do it. Do it now before the end of the game. We got highlights for you that you want to see and some dope captions that you want to read. At FIBA3X3, at FIBA3X3W. Oh, we crossed him. Where Chris at? 6 5. Inkbot will get a rest, as will Walker. One point edge for Mongolia. Blanchfield patiently waiting, but 
Johnson gets called for the foul. So the towering Johnson will have a seat. Ink Batar to the bull. The bull is charging. Oh, and he takes a score. 7-5, Mongolia. Oh, quick hands from Davos Humble. And Walker saying, put that up high. They had a 2-1 advantage there, but they don't take advantage. So they'll reset here with seven seconds to shoot. Andrew Steele. He's shooting like Cupid. You got to love that. Oh, Inkbot. He's shooting like the record button. He's trying to take over the show. That two rattles out. Bold doesn't get that one to go. And a push is called down low. I believe that's going to be on Australia. Third foul on the Aussies to match Mongolia's three fouls. Mongolia looking for the first goal since 2017. Oh, I like your cut, G. Got to work on the layup package, though. There's Inkbot. Misses the tough layup attempt. So Mongolia will not be able to add to the lead at the moment. Steel picks up a little bit of a ticky tack foul there. He was trying to fight through the screen and trailing. It happens sometimes. Shout out to Matt Hollard. He's been hooking me up with some nice nuggets and notes. No stroke for Aryan Bowl. Johnson saying, come get it. He gives the Wilson up to Blanchfield. Blanchfield. Oh, has it roll out on him. Aryan Bow, way out deep. He wants to get it to the ball, but those long arms of Johnson disrupts the play. Johnson coming to set the screen for Blanchfield. Blanchfield stop a go red light, green light. He's out of there. Check his tail lights as Australia pull within one. The two is released. And he's shooting like he got a scope out there. Anol Batar gives the Mongolians a three-point advantage. Look, Ma, one hand. Blanchfield shows the touch. One possession lead. The Bull sees some China. And he makes easy work of Blanchfield. That's where the grown men play. Steele gets it to Walker. Walker with a nice adjustment. Does not come away with the layup. Kicked out. Inkbot drops it like it's hot. He's drenched. It's 14 to 9. Mongolia is feeling it. Can they stop Australia's run for four straight? Just over four minutes to go. Four fouls apiece. Five point game. Walker to Johnson. Nice lay from the big fella. Oh, there's Aryan Bowl. And he gets the easy kiss off the glass. Johnson, not that time. Unselfish play to set up Blanchfield for the score. But now, Dogon is on the move like the lease is up. He makes his way to the bucket for the score. So the Mongolians are maintaining a five-point victory. George Bukur in the building. We got the big bosses out here. He's gonna be mad about that shout out. Don't tell him. And a break in the action, but. There's Iqbatar, Anol Batar, 
sinking it from the deep end. That's a big two. And the Mongolians have been known. They're becoming a, a more well-rounded scoring team. They've really extended their game. They used to just be bruisers scoring on the inside. Speaking of scoring, this is how, this is how the last few scores have gone. It was 14 to nine. And Mongolia have assumed now a 16 to 11 advantage. So maintaining a five point lead. They get it down to the big fella. Oh. Persistence pays off. All righty. Nice pass. Precision. They're putting them on the operating table now. It's 17-12. Here comes Aryan Bowl. Aryan Bolt with another dish, but that one is not finished. Walker, not that time. Aryan Bolt. The Aussies have figured out what they're trying to do. That steal gets them their 14th point. Only a three-point game right now. Aryan Bolt streaking to the crib and finishes with a lay. Johnson, no. Iqba Atar to Dogun. Dogun out beyond the two-point arc. Dogun gives it up to Anobatar. Good defense as Blanchfield is able to prevent the layup. 2.34 to go. Mongolia have Australia on the ropes. Take a look at how the action is heated up as the game has written the story as it's gone. Who will have the happy ending in this one? Gold medal and a ticket to one of the OQTs, Paris in 2024 as eight countries will get a chance to represent. Australia, the eight seed. Mongolia, the one seed. Here's Steele. Gets it to Blanchfield. Blanchfield told him, take that. Went Diddy on him. Aussies pull within two. Here's the bull. Gavasa boom. Misses the hook. Two minutes to go. This is not done by a long shot. Three in the key is called. So Australia will give it back over to the Mongolians. And you can see them trading it blow for blow. Australia have managed to pull within two as they've turned up the defense on Mongolia. We've only been made, able to manage a point. Inkbot off the iron. Johnson has it cleared. Australia can tie Blanchfield off the iron. No, Johnson will tip it to himself. Back to Blanchfield. Iso game. Blanchfield, he's in the rhythm of the night. Oh, Lord. It's 18 up. Blanchfield showing up big. 146 to play, and Mongolia might be shook up a little bit now because that five point advantage is gone. Arian Ball! Two piece with the biscuit. He hits the two, and the emerging star from Mongolia could win the game at the line. A non Orion bowl on point like a harpoon as that falls through the nets with the contact. Right when it looked like Australia might be stealing the momentum 
from Mongolia, they get an answer like that from Anand Aryanbal. They played with the heart of champions. And this might be a non Aryan Bones coming out party, ladies and gentlemen. He puts it away from the straight. Mongolia is gold yet again. A star is born. A non Aryan Bone leads Mongolia to Asia Cup victory in the gold medal game. Australia's run for four in a row is done right here, right now. They will take a silver medal. Credit to Mongolia for getting it done. The one seed staying true, fighting as hard as they could, and they emerged with victory with one flick of the wrist from a non Aryan ball. Standing by for the post game interview is the Bull Delgarnam Davasa Boos with. Tristan Lovellette, take it away. Congratulations. How does it feel to be Asia Cup champion? Wow. Great moment. We, five years ago, we can Asian champion. Five years, after the five years, we can champion. Thank you all, fans. Congratulations, enjoy the title. Enjoy the title, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, one more oh, time. Oh yeah, they're gonna be, they might have some Mongolian gin when they get back to Ulaanbaatar. I don't know if the Aussies are gonna be cracking any coldies, but they got plenty to be proud about. Silver medal, that ain't nothing to sneeze at. So credit Australia for the run that they had in back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back goals, but it comes to an end on this uh, sixth edition of the Asia Cup. Wow, what a run. Five action-packed days from the qualifying draw all the way to the culmination, the gold medal game for the men as they take the gold. Australian women earn gold. Mongolia, they are the best in Asia. No argument now, they proved it between the lines. Dabasambu continued to put the bull in bully. He also found his stroke from long range. They had been waiting for a non Aryan bowl to take that next step. And I think they saw the evidence right here, right now. They got somebody special on this squad to join this veteran crew. Aryan bowl driving and scoring right there. His biggest bucket you'll see later on in the highlight as Blanchfield is able to hit it from deep. This was the shot. This was the shot heard from here to Ulaanbaatar. And then the free throw to ice it. Anand Aryan Bol, Delgirinam Davasambu, Inkba Atar Anolbatar, and Dolgun Inkbat come together and get it done 21 18, earning Asia Cup gold right in front of your eyes. It has been an absolute ball.